Hi guys. Welcome to Ahmad Logs channel. This is the part 2 of my previous video in which we have learned to control relay and registering phone number by sending SMS. It is recommended to watch part 1 of the video for better understanding. Check the video link in the description. I have made some changes in the code to extend the functionality of the project. Now, I have added the DTMF feature and you can control the relays by sending SMS as well as making call to the project. Let's test it. The call will be automatically connected after one ring. When connection is established, open the keypad and dial 1 to turn on the first relay. 2 for second relay and so on. Similarly, dial 1 again from the keypad to turn off the first relay and dial 2 for turning off relay 2. Similarly, you can turn off relay 3 and 4. Dial 5 to turn on all the relays one by one. And dial 6 to turn off all the relays one by one. Next, all the received SMS messages are stored in the SIM 800L memory. You can store up to 70 SMS in the SIM 800L memory. And when the memory is full, then the GSM module stops receiving the new SMS messages. To receive the new SMS messages, you are required to free up some space. For that, I have added delete command in the reply function. And what this command does, each time when we send a new SMS, this command automatically deletes all the previously stored messages from the SIM 800L memory. So, it does not required to delete the SMS messages manually. Next. As you had learned in my previous video that the registered phone numbers are stored in EEP ROM. But you can write data in EEP ROM 1 million times only. An interesting thing to do is to see how long EEP ROM memory will last. Let's see if you write data in EEP ROM 10 times a day. It turns out that it will last at least 10,000 days or 27 years. So, one thing you must consider while updating the code is never use the eep roam write command in the loop function otherwise the memory will dead very fast so be careful while modifying the code also to store the relay states in the eep roam is not good idea because it will decrease the lifetime of eep roam because we turn on or off the relays more frequently and if we store the relay states each time in the eep roam then the life of EEP Rome ends very fast. That's it. This is for today. If you have any question or you want to give some suggestions to upgrade the project, then just comment below. See you in another video. Bye.